Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know, now you do. And I have a haul for you. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, I spent all of last month, i.e. February, um, not buying stuff. And this month I've taken that restriction off and I might have gone a little crazy. Um, not too crazy, but like, um, I didn't necessarily need all of these things, but I wanted them. And so I'm just going to show you what I bought. And granted, some of these are a little weird. And some of them are pretty normal. Alright, let's just get into it, okay? The first item I bought are these little... Uh, leather sewing needles so um, they're kind of blunt ended but they're meant to sew leather that's already had holes punched in it um, I probably could do this with darning needles however um, these ones are meant specifically to go through leather and I plan to well I have some some really awesome products in mind for some shows I have coming up so I wanted to get the tools right um, so this is what they are. They're from Tandy Leather Factory. Um, I got them on Amazon. I will link anything I can below just so you know. Um, yeah. And they stupidly came in like this tiny little package. But they shipped them separately from everything else by FedEx. I don't know if that just meant that they were in a different facility to move the rest of my order. But... Another weird thing I bought is this chunk of beeswax. Again, this is for sewing with leather and also um, for finishing the edges of leather. So this is, let's see, it's from Treetop Honey Products. Again, I got it off of Amazon. It's a cosmetic grade um, chunk of beeswax. I didn't really need a cosmetic grade, but it was the cheapest and also the one that was available via Prime. So that's what I got. I also got this Jade Facial Roller that I haven't opened yet, so let's open it together. I don't know why it would come vacuum sealed, but alright, so, so far so good. It's actual stone, I think. Um, I don't know if it's like good quality jade or not. The roller was only um, 10 bucks, but it feels nice. So, you know, this is very soothing. Mm. I like this a lot. I can see why people like this. I probably look ridiculous. Anyway, um, I bought this jade roller. Again, I will link it. Um, it was available on Amazon Prime. A lot of the other ones were not on Prime, and I didn't want to wait for them to come in. I'm very impatient when it comes to Amazon purchases, so yeah. Next up, I have two pairs of sunglasses from Zero UV. Um, they are a really inexpensive um, sunglasses brand. Like, I think these are probably like $15. Um, I'm going to put them on. They're mirrored, so like you're going to probably get a, a look at my filming setup. But they're sort of like knockoffs or like inspired by some designer ones that I've seen around. Um, they have a clear plastic edge up here, then this is mirrored blue, and then the metal is silver with um, clear arms. Uh, these fit a little like, they're a little narrower than the other pair, but I like them quite a lot. I'm not real big on like round sunglasses, like round lenses, so these ones are hard for me, but like they don't sit on my cheeks, which is always the test. And I just, I really like them, although my sister says I look weird wearing them, so, you know. Anyway, I love these. 
and I'm a sucker for sunglasses, so, um, yeah, I, I buy probably five or six pairs a year. I don't spend a lot of money on them because I don't want to be heartbroken if they get lost, stolen, whatever, so. This is the other pair, which I think these are my favorite out of the two. So these are uh, sort of a cat eye style with mirrored lenses, like blue, I think they're blue, yes they're definitely blue, and tortoise shell um, frames, and then gold metal around the side. So there is metal arms, they have the little nose feet, and they're mirrored. Um, the lenses aren't quite flat, but these ones are definitely my favorite, and they just make me feel so like retro and badass. For sure. Also, because they're so huge and the way they sit on my nose, they don't touch my cheeks at all when I scrunch up like this. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Which pair is better suited to my face? I'm not returning either of them. I'm going to wear them both. But just let me know. Alright, so this purchase was like a, a super spur of the moment purchase. Um... My mom upgraded her phone to an iPhone 8 Plus, and when I saw how beautiful it was and how like nice it felt in my hand, I decided that I was going to upgrade. Um, and so, like a series of a, like a chain of events happened, or is happening. Basically, um, my brother's buying my old phone from me. I'm gonna sell his phone, and I get to keep the cash for that. And I'm gonna sell my mom's old phone, and she'll let me keep the cash from that. And then, um, basically she paid off my device balance. So, like, it's a, it's a complicated mess. Um, but I got an iPhone 8 Plus. Um, I've had it for less than 12 hours. And I love it already. It is awesome. I never thought I would like how big it is. Um, it fits in my hand very nicely. Um, and... I just really like it. It's great to read books on um, because you get a lot more on the screen. I did get the silver, um, so yes. And then the other part of my purchase is this case, not the pop socket, the pop socket I got from Ebates, um, which I love Ebates, but uh, they, you know, sent this in like an influencer kit um, that I got for free. So anyway. The case is from, let's see, it's from Casemate, and I got it at Winners for 20 bucks. It has actual Mother of Pearl embedded in the case um, with, let's see, shock absorbing bumper, anti-scratch technology, uh, and metallic buttons. Yes, the metallic buttons are cool, um, and it has a lifetime warranty. Uh, which sounds pretty awesome. Fits my phone great, uh, and it just makes it feel a little more protected. It's quite slippery with the glass back, so yeah. I am pretty pumped to take this puppy out this weekend. I'm going to an event um, for the Claire Closet. Um, we're hosting, I guess, a yin and violin class. Um, Claire is playing the violin, and um, we have a yoga instructor, and so they're coming together, and so I'm going to that, and I'm going to do some social media stuff, so I'm hoping the photos will look amazing, um, so it'll pretty much be happening at the exact same time as you're watching this video, if you're watching it on Sunday, so yeah. Anyway, on to the last item of this haul. Um, which was another impulse purchase, but I've actually been looking for a new bag, um, for a couple of months. The one I got, um, earlier in the winter, it's starting to crack along the seals, um, so, and I don't really like that, although I still really like the shape and the structure of it, so, um, this is the bag I picked out at Winners. Um, it... This is not actually blue, it's just still got all the protective stuff on it. So it's got the top handle, it also has this very long strap, I tested it in the store, 
um, and it's long enough to wear crossbody, which is great. Um, it has a huge pocket on the front here where there's like a pocket for a regular size phone, not a phone my size, for some stuff in here. Then there is a large pocket back here with, hmm, wonder what this is, a piece of paper. Okay, something um, with, you know, like that typical secret pocket inside. And then there is a pocket on the back, which will be good for like a card and my phone. I love when purses have the pocket on the back. It just, I can slip it in and like not have to worry about it. So, yes, um, let's see here. I guess the brand is Ms. Mystique with a Z. I don't know, because it's from Winners, I won't be able to link it. Uh, but it says it would be... It would retail for $95, and I got it for $49.99 from Winners. I don't know if that's like a real, real retail price, but I really like it. It's kind of sort of old-fashioned feeling, but modern at the same time. And so I was just waiting to take off all the little like protective-y bits till after I'd filmed this, because I'm going to transfer all my stuff over into here. Um, and to be honest, I don't have much stuff in my purse right now. So it's going to feel kind of empty. I kind of like that though that way because um, it means that uh, I don't hurt my neck when I'm walking around with all the stuff in my bag. Uh, but this one will have plenty of room to at least hold my planner, um, which my other one does not. So yes, this is my haul. Alright, so that's everything in my haul today. Thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I guess I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video. Also give it a like, share it with your friends who you think might enjoy it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!